Our verse today is Luke chapter 16, verse 31. He said to them, If they do not hear Moses and the prophets, neither will they be convinced if someone should rise from the dead. The story of the rich man and Lazarus is well known to us. There are two major characters in the story the rich man whose name is not given, and Lazarus who is presented as a destitute. He was feeding on what fell from the rich man's table. The rich man would not notice this poor man or even prevent his dogs from licking his sores. That he had sores means that his health condition was deplorable. The rich man did not lift his hand to help. But there is something positive about the rich man. He did not send Lazarus away from his house. He allowed him to feed on the crumbs from his table. At least he accommodated a poor stinking man around him. But what was the offense of the rich man? That he had to undergo torment in Hades. He neglected to take care of the poor man. What we call the sin of omission. Our interest is that the rich man begged Abraham to send Lazarus back to the earth to preach to his siblings, not to end up in the same situation as he. He argues that someone from the dead can convince them about the dangers of losing eternity. But Abraham's response in our verse is very informative. They have Moses and the prophets. Moses and the prophets is another way of saying they have the scriptures, the word of God. The word of God is for our instruction and guidance in life. 2 Timothy chapter 3 verse 16. God has revealed everything to us in the scriptures. Following the scriptures and living it out is a sure way to gaining eternal life. The second part of the verse is even more impressive. They will not be convinced even if someone should rise from the dead. Jesus in this story was already alluding to his own resurrection. He preached the word of God, gave himself for our salvation. He was crucified, he died, and rose from the dead. Did everyone in his day believe the resurrection? Did some people not try to silence the apostles and even persecuted them for speaking about the resurrection? What about us today? Do we really believe in the resurrection? Or do we see it just as another fairy tale? The challenges for us today are that we should take the scriptures as our rule and guide of life. And the resurrection of Jesus should be enough to strengthen our faith. We do not need any further extraordinary signs or someone to rise from the dead to be convinced that there is judgment hell and heaven at the end of our lives. The Lord rose and his example, his life and his teaching should be enough for us. They are all contained in the scriptures. Let us read the scriptures each day and see how the Lord speaks to us. Lord, strengthen my faith in the resurrection and through the scriptures to see what you are inviting me to do daily and put them into practice. Amen. God bless you and I wish you a wonderful day.